Assalamu alaikum. The word on the board is inama. And you can recall that we have treated inna before. So what is the difference between inna and inama? Knowing that inama is formed from inna, only that an addition of ma has been added. So ma has been added to inna. Firstly, inna means indeed, surely, verily, truly, undoubtedly. Now the word inna has a specific rule because inna also has its sisters. Huh? Surprise? Yes, inna has its sisters. Because these sisters, we call them the subordinates of, of inna, they maintain the same rules with inna. Should I mention some of them? One of them is later, one of them is like inna, one, the other is um, ka'anna, and there are others. So, inna, the rule guiding inna is that inna is usually introduced into a nominal sentence. An example, Allahu gofurun, Allah is forgiving. When I introduce inna, it becomes inna Allaha, gofurun. What is the difference? Inna will make the word Allah, which is the noun, the muqtada, to carry fatha. That is the work of inna, and the khobar, which is gofurun, will carry dhumma. Allah gofurun, Allah is all forgiving. Inna Allah gofurun. In the Quran, you come across a lot of places where inna is used, and the next word will be made to carry fatha, like inna Allah yuhibbu, inna al muslimina. You can see. So, inna, this is the word. But inama has a different meaning. This is because the ma that is being added is called ma al zaida, the additional ma, which is ma al kafa, ma of restriction. This ma will stop inna from the rule which we told you about. Inna originally we change a noun into carrying fatha, but when ma is added to it to become inama, that um, power that inna has over the next word dropped. So inna will not be able to change the next word to carrying fatha. And what is the meaning of inama? Inama means, let's just put it as only. Let me give an example. When I say, um, Muhammadun Muhandisun. Muhammadun Muhandisun. Muhammad is an engineer. If I also say Innama Muhammadun Muhandisun, what is the difference? The difference is that the first one, Muhammadun Muhandisun, it means Muhammad is an engineer, and this does not stop him from being a doctor, from being a carpenter, from being a tailor, and the rest. So he is an engineer. I only mention a part to you. But if I say in Nama Muhammadun Muhandisun, if I say Muhammad is an engineer, this means that Muhammad is only an engineer. So you can say, indeed, Muhammad is only an engineer. Can you see the difference between inna and inama now? Of course. So inama meaning only, fakot, only. Muhammad is only an engineer, nothing else. So let's move on to our book and see how the word inama is being used in different sentences. And I'm sure at the end of this lesson, you have had a grasp of another grammar rule. No doubt about that. Let's move on. Here we have, um, okay, we have inama yakzibu, inama yakzibu, which means he is only lying. Inama yakzibu, he is only lying, meaning the only thing he's doing is that he's lying. Inama asluha, the word inama, the origin is inna. Itasalat biha ma azaida, that is being connected, ma, ma, Mim fatha, mim fatal madima is being added to in to inna what to say mahadihi ma al kafa and this ma that is being added to it is called the ma which which um which um forbids the ma which restricts li anna takufu inna and in amal because it stops inna from the work of inna. Tadukhul inna ma ala jumlatay na ismiya wal fa'liya the word inna ma could be introduced to both the nominal sentence jumlatul ismiya and the um, jumlatul fa'iliya the verb sentence an example we have in the quran Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in surah al-baqarah chapter 2 uh, chapter, 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 chapter 9 verse 60 Allah says inna masadaqatu lil fuqara'i can you hear this please listen very well 
Allah says, Inama sodako to lil fokoroi. The sodako, the zakah that, you, that, that, that the Muslims, the authority collects. Inama sodako to, it is only for these categories of people. Allah has said it. Inama sodako to, inama, it is only for these categories. He now mentioned them, lil fokoroi, masakin, and the rest of them. Then Allah also says, the Prophet also said in the Hadith that Inamal Amalu Biniyat. So next time we hear Inamal, Inamal Amalu. Actions are only by what? Intentions. So Inamal means what? Only. Only by intentions, nothing else. Next we have in Allah says in the Quran, also in chapter Tauba, also in chapter 9, verse 18, Allah says, Innama ya'amuru masajid Allahi man amana billahi wa liyawmil akhir. It is only those who believe in Allah and the last day, who, those who believe in Allah and the last day, that maintain the masjid, the, the masajid of Allah. It is only them. The only people who are, man, who are, um, Put to the charge of taking care of the masajid are the be believers in the Allah and also the hereafter. So to feed you in nama a time. So the word in nama it is used for indication. It is used to indicate something. To, to, to it is used to restrict to a, to choice to make a choice to to select. So Allah is using it, when Allah is it is using it to select a group to differentiate. So, what to give is bad al hook mil mazkur and it will make mandatory the rule which is being mentioned. When after you are going to have the hukma and the one that is not being mentioned, it will take it away, it will decline it, it will what it will, um, it will, um, what is it called? We have, um, it will negate it. So, whenever in Nama is used, whatever it is used for, it is used to establish it, and every other thing apart from that, it negates it. That this one is not part of it. So, in Nama, in Nama, in Nama, so quality, when Allah has mentioned this, every other people who are not part of the eight categories Allah has mentioned, they are not part of it. So, Fakauluna, so I was saying, if we say, in Nama, who are Mohandi soon, he is only a doctor, a, an engineer. You feel do anna who mohandi soon fakot. This shows that he's only an engineer. Wale safi he sifatun okhra that he has no other quality or description. Wallahi laqad farih to kathiran. So with this we come to the end of the word in nana and how it is being used. So form a lot of sentences by yourself using the word in nama and know that in nama is gotten from inna plus ma and the ma stops inna from the work of inna. We ask Allah to grant us understanding. Do not forget to include us in your good prayer. May Allah accept this from us as acts of ibadah. Your patience, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also bless you and grant us more understanding that we always try to explain it. Until we meet again, Jalakumullah khairan. Don't forget to hit on the join button to be part of our membership to get members only perks like members only quizzes, members only polls, members only hadith and the likes of other benefits that you get when you subscribe to our membership. Until we meet, Assalamu alaikum.